So this should be Bambi then, right? Should be. We'll see when we get up to the top. I think so, because this looks different than Godzilla did, right? Yeah. So we're at the Endeavor segment of the Wanda Fuca Ridge, which is home to some of um, Ocean Networks Canada's deepest collection of um, experiments, which is about 2,200 meters to 2,400 meters. And you're at 15. You said it was six meters high? He said five, five to 10 was his estimate, but he didn't know for sure. It's definitely shorter than Godzilla. Greg, if you if uh, you get in and you can look up, I'm pretty. I'm thinking Bambi was where we saw the the water layer. Like you Ross. see that little lip there. Yeah. This looks kind of white. If you can get down under that and look up with the camera, you might be able to see that mirror effect, which uh, is a pretty cool effect. Yeah, I spotted it on a different ledge on uh, on Godzilla. Godzilla. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty. Do we want to zoom in on any of these worms? Here? Video alerts push in. <coughs> We're not going for the worms. There's venting so, yeah. there. Hold. So what we're looking for is, is what we're looking for is a, a vent where we can stick a probe in that will then hopefully seal up, and then uh, also one that's we're going to get cables in and and out of uh, so we can reach in to uh, one to maintain the instrument, but two um, we don't burn the cables. So, so it's kind of a the bars at Main Endeavor Field. What we did to it. You're um, looking for a black smoke here, Van, yeah, or just a uh, no, just a hot. Yeah, vent. it doesn't. Well, yes. Uh, that was a pretty definite yes. Sorry, that's a definite yes. So you want it smoking, Lawrence? Yeah, it doesn't have to be smoking, but it's got to be a real high temperature. Yeah. yeah. Vent. So. Our ship is done. So. So we are in the Pacific Ocean, just off um, the west coast of Vancouver Island in British Columbia. And Lawrence, uh, one of the viewers, is asking us how hot a hydrothermal vent can get. So the maximum temperature that's been measured for these hydrothermal vents is, uh, I think, 407 degrees Celsius. Most are a little cooler than that, maybe 350, but over 400 is not that uncommon. So 407 maximum between 350 Celsius to 407. Thank you, Lawrence. And why is it important to know the temperature of the vent fluid? Yeah, so we need to know the temperatures if we want to understand the, uh, the way these systems form and also understand the energy budget. So how much energy is yeah. uh, taken up from the Earth and to drive these systems. Perfect, thank you. What was the bearing of the last move? 135. Okay. Would you be able to tell our viewers um, how long it approximately takes a hydrothermal vent to form? It's a great question. Um, we don't really know exactly how long it takes, but uh, tens of years to tens of thousands of years, depending on how big they are. So small structures can form within about 10 years. These kinds of structures probably more like a thousand years. I think that move will put us clear. Right, so that's probably part of the reason why we're here studying this, to gain more information. Exactly. Yeah, right now I'm just kind of getting set up for a good handover. Right. So everybody understands that BARS stands for Benthic and Resistivity Sensors. So, in case you were wondering. I was wondering. And Marv Lilly is uh, at the University of Washington. It's uh, his creation. And Marv's watching from Seattle today, I assume. I'm gonna come further south if we're gonna keep going around like yeah, this. Yeah, I think so. Bridge nav, can I get another 10 meter move bearing 180? It's hollow, yeah. So that's water on top. Is that that's what the, we're seeing? That's from the temperature. Yeah, it's stuck, on, like it's stuck under it's, the ledge. It's reflective because of the yeah. The heat difference, uh, I believe. That's awesome. All right, video, let's come full wide. 